Okay, so we're looking at section A here. We're looking at the two equations we've got here, equations one and two, to start with. And these are both types of linear equations. So if after this short video you don't really get what's going on, you can always look up, you can always play the video back, but you can always go away and look up this topic. So we're looking to solve linear equations. I can tell they're linear because they're only going to have uh, a, an unknown or an x or a y or whatever on its own, no power of 2 or 3, so an x squared or x cubed or anything like that. So let's look at this one. So number 1, we've got an equation here and you can see instantly the left hand side 7x minus 1 all over 2 as a fraction. So let's rearrange that, so let's multiply everything by 2. So that helps us to get rid of the fraction, so we're multiplying and divided by 2, and then multiplying the right hand side by 2 gives us 26 minus 2x. And now I'm going to collect unknowns, uh, I'm going to collect the unknowns on the left, so I'm going to add 2x to both sides, which gives me 9x, and I'm going to add 1 to both sides, it gives me 27, so I've done two steps in one there, and then I'm going to divide by 9 tells me the answer, single answer, it's a linear equation that x is equal to 3. Okay, if we go over and look at number 2 now, um, we can see this is a little bit more complex. We've got three terms, each term being a fraction, first one over 2, the second one over 3, and the third one over 6, and um, but we're still going to only have a power of 1, it's still a linear equation. So I'm going to get rid of all of these things. I'm going to get rid of all of the fractions in one go, and I'm going to pick the biggest denominator, or the biggest number that everything goes into, which in this case is 6. So, I'm going to multiply every fraction by 6. Okay, or well, I'm going to multiply everything by 6. So we've got multiplying by 6 and divided by 2 is the equivalent to, well, if you're not sure, you can miss this step out if you're confident. Plus, multiply this one by 6. And then multiply by this one by 6, divided by 6 is just going to kind of destroy that. So you can, you can see here we've got 6 divided by 2, so it's actually going to be 3. 3 lots of this and this, and 6 divided by 3 is going to be 2 lots of this. You can do this in one go, and I much prefer to do it in one go, but I was kind of showing you where it comes from. So I've got 3 lots of y minus 1, plus 2 lots. It's two lots because it's the 6 divided by 3 of y plus 1, and then I've still got 2y plus 5 on this side. So let's go and look over here. So that's going to give me 3y minus 3 plus 2y plus 2 is equal to 2y plus 5. Now I'm going to do all my collecting of unknown terms. So I'm going to add 3 and take away 2 from both sides. And then I'm going to subtract 2y. Well, 3y plus 2y is 5y. Take away that. It gives me 3y. Just simplify. 5, add 3 is 8. Take 2 is 6. And then c easily see that my solution is 2. Sorry, be a bit slow there. Well, we can check these. It's really important to go back and we can check these equations. Well. So let me just change colour. Let's change to a nice pink colour. Let's see that we can check that these equations work, and it's a really good thing to do if you're not sure that you've done the right thing. So let's substitute the value of 3 for x back into here. So in the left-hand side, I get 7 lots of 3, which is 21, minus 1 over 2, which gives me 20 divided by 2 is 10. And on the right-hand side, substituting... Uh, x equals 3 gives me 13 minus 3, which is also 10. So they're both true, so it works. We can check over here. It's a little bit more complicated, but we've got a value of 2. So we're going to do 2 minus 1 over 2 plus... Um, what have we got? y is 2, so 2 plus 1 over 3. So the left-hand side of this equation gives us 2 minus 1, gives us a half plus 3 over 3, which is 1, which gives us 
one and a half. If we do it to the right hand side, we can see up here we've got two lots of our y which is 4, 4 plus 5 over 6, uh, which is 9 over 6, um, which again is well, divide the top and bottom by 3, gives us 3 over 2. So we get the same answer when you substitute, and it won't work if you substitute another value in. This is the only value that's going to make the left-hand side and right-hand side equal, and we can just check that we get the same answer both, and we're pretty happy we're done.